Well, today we're going to hit but smashed in Buffalo Jump in in Alberta. So, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, sorry if my voice sounds a little bit uh, more raspy than usual. Have a sore throat. Interesting fact, uh, it's getting expensive to live in Calgary, so a lot of people are moving to towns around Calgary, like this one here. Uh, a house 10 years ago in Calgary, that ran about 134000 go, go right now probably for 300000 close to 400000 easily. The number one is so touch the lights. Paint applicators made from fragments of hip bone or shoulder blades were used to apply native paint made from red orca or hematite. Pieces of red orca to be used as paint were stored in small rawhide bags and were later crushed and mixed with buffalo grease to make red paint. That's what number two is. See the bags there and the paint? The number three is an important item during a sweat lodge ceremony was a buffalo tail expunger which was used to sprinkle water on the hot rocks inside the lodge. See that big tail? Number four, an integral element of sun dance ceremonies of the Plains Indians was a painted buffalo skull. So this is his, the buffalo skull. Like his, his brain was, would have been inside there. That's his, his bone, right? Number five, who can find number five? That one right there. Buffalo drew dew claws. That's a dew claw. Bradford has a dew claw. It's kind of like our thumb. The small claw on the inside part of the leg above the hoof or the hooves themselves were strung together and hung on ornamental handles of ceremonial rattles. So those are his thumbs, right? And they were hung together to make a rattle. Number six, that's this one up here. People preparing hides used hide scrapers, steeply angled tools bound to handles of wood or antler to scrape the inner surface of the particularly dried hide to an even thickness. Number seven, new arrow shafts were twisted and smoothed with bone wrenches over a small fire until they were perfectly straight. Number eight, a traveler could carry live coals for hours in a tightly stoppered buffalo horn lined with damp rooted wood. What do you think that would be important? Live coals. Why would they need live coals? Oh. Well, they're fired. Well, they're fired to make their fire light really quick, right? So when 
they get somewhere and they're hot, they're hungry and they're cold and they need something hot to make, they can quickly take out their already started coals and have a fire in seconds, right? Buffalo horns could be carved into a good drinking cup. So that's number nine, it's their drinking cup. See number nine? Yeah. Number 10 is a sharp sawed tooth buffalo bone fleshings. Tools were used to scrape bits of meat and fat from the hide. So that's how they used to get all the meat off. That would be right. number 10. Number 11, small splinters of buffalo bones as well as bird bones were sharpened to make owls for sewing. So that's their sewing needle. That's what they used to use to sew clothes together. So they used the buffalo for everything, didn't they? Number 12, who can find number 12? Find number 12, uh, that's number one and the two together. Uh, I think it was Im important both for sewing and for binding smaller points and blades to shafts and handles. It's number there. 13, this one here, it looks like a balloon, is a bladder bag. It kept stores of fat tightly sealed, permitting the long time preservation of this food source. Number 14, this warm winter cap was made from a tan buffalo hide. Where's the hat? Uh, number 14. And number 15, rawhide was an important fastener. When fresh, it was used to lash or bind things together as it dried, it shrank and tightened. Number 16, which is down there on the bottom, on the plains, buffalo chips were an abundant but relatively cool burning fuel. What do you suppose a buffalo chip is? Um, a chip from its horns? No, a buffalo chip? That's dried poop. Scat. Yep. So they would leave their scat all over and they could, when they dried, they were like big hard stones almost and they could use those to keep their fire going. Mm -hmm. So they used every part from the poop to every little bone of the buffalo, right? I think they would use that for something. Pretty neat, huh?